Pollock. Big off. Now one shot. Paolo, one shot. Westerdale making the save and then Paul Dickoff putting some very physical pressure on. Pesky holding off Richie and trying to supply Michael Owen and here's Owen! As soon as the ball was played into his part, he was always going to mark his 100th premiership appearance with a goal. It's a striking partnership that really is coming to fruition for Liverpool. It's the 15th goal that they've got in the 18 games they've started together. Number 10, Michael Owen. City's first corner of the game, taken by Kennedy. Now he again was the target, and somehow Paul Dickoff couldn't quite find the finish. On throw from Pryor. Vesterbell came a long way out and didn't get there, and Paolo one jumps in surely and made him pay. Deflects away for a corner. Kennedy. Little header down. Kick off again in the far post. It's going to be squeezed in by Holland. Somehow on the line. It's Hesky that takes responsibility to get it away. An extraordinary passage of play inside the Liverpool six yard box. Good header down by one shot. Kick off again causing problems. Holland couldn't get it. Hesky getting it away from the shadow of his post. This time it's Holland with a long throw. And again he deludes everyone, watch up! Well, Vesterveld seemed to be beaten, but somehow managed to telescope out his left hand to bring the ball down. Now Barnby will try and time the ball through towards Heskey. Is that a push by Howie? The referee's assistant is flagging. The contact was outside the penalty area. Harrogate waiting on the edge of the penalty area. If anything breaks off the wall, it is Barnby. And he deflected away off Kennedy. Gerard himself swings it in. Battle going up for it. beginning to find their feet after a torrid start to the second half and brilliantly they've done it with Heskey referee judging that he took a dive and some of the City players off the ball are scrapping with Emil Heskey Pryor's involved, Richie's involved and Heskey has struck Paul Richie. didn't appear to be much contact from Howie and then Emil Heskey did appear to strike the face of Paul Richie, albeit with the palm of his hand Pryor another player that was telling Heskey what he thought of it, it's a yellow card for Heskey Heskey looking for Owen and finding him again Owen for the second, good save still the danger not clear, Bambi's waiting Owen gets it across Heskey gets it over the bar Song Heskey going up for it, Howie with the clearance, now for Diddy Haman, brilliantly taken, absolutely magnificent, and two, three minutes of solid Liverpool pressure, comes to a second goal. Only now will the Merseyside Hordes be able to breathe a sigh of relief. Song it was that created it. Wonderful flighted ball four for Heskey. How he got his head to that, but look at that for control and finish from Diddy Haman. Brilliantly done. We are 2 1. George Weir's first goal for Manchester City. The deficit is hard. The got past Song, drew Honcho in and fired low pass Vesterveld. And George Weir scores for Manchester City to make it 2 1. Holland, Triori committed himself. Holland finding Weir and supplying the run on the overlap. Danger again, and he goes down. It's well, the referee's assistant is flagging. He's a penalty to City. Manchester City with a chance to salvage it and tie it up at 2-2.
As Holland got past him on the overlap, little doubt that that was a penalty. Horlock against Festival, and it's no more than Manchester City deserve. Great character show by Manchester City. Two down with a quarter of the game to go. And Weir and Horlock have got them level. Well, deja vu for Liverpool. They blew a three-goal lead at Southampton a fortnight ago. They've blown a two-goal lead here. You can see three late goals in this one. They'll probably lose. Haman! 3-2! The lead is restored. Didi Haman, who'd only scored one Liverpool goal before today, has two in the second half. And Liverpool, having been two goals up, pick back to 2-2, now have their noses in front again. Ziga with the throw. The flick caused problems, and her man right put it home with a finish, every bit as emphatic as the goal which had put Liverpool two up.